Before we get into the video, I want to let you guys know that my merch shop is now open. I have shirts, hats, stickers, and I'm still adding stuff. So if there's anything you'd like to see in my merch shop, please let me know. And if you see anything you like, the link will be in the description. Howdy, Simmers. Welcome back to the Cardigan Legacy. In the last episode, we really focused on getting a bunch of milestones for Daisy, who is our little Gen 2 infant. And I played a little bit off camera since the last time that an episode of this came out. And she's gotten even more milestones, which is really cool. But here we are back in our little house in San Sequoia where it is currently raining a little bit. But I'm really in the mood to either renovate this house or scrap it entirely. I'm not really feeling it anymore, but I definitely don't think that we have the money to rebuild entirely. So it's just going to have to be fine for now. But currently it is Tuesday at 9 a.m., and tomorrow is Sim Dependence Day, which by the time this video comes out, it will be the 4th of July, which is Independence Day here in the U.S. So happy 4th of July to all you U.S. peeps. Uh, <laughs> but tomorrow is also Daisy's birthday. So we are going to be aging up Daisy into a toddler tomorrow. We're going to go ahead and send Harmony and Penny to work today and try to get through this day really quickly. And it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah. But as you can see, Daisy is on the move right now. So let me show you what milestones she has got now. So currently she has four milestones in the fine motor area. So learn to reach, learn to grab, which I think we both had those last episode. She's also learned how to put her toe in her mouth and how to pincer grab so she can do finger food now. Uh, for her first, she had her first diaper blowout, her first bubble bath. She peed on her caregiver. She's also had her first baby food. For gross motor, she has done so much. She finally learned how to creep so she can move on her own. Of course, she learned how to sit up. She's learned how to roll over onto her tummy and to her back. It's been a whole thing. And for her social, she's actually kind of learned how to babble, at least. Not necessarily learned how to talk. But she has made a lot of progress in Milestones. And once we got those, like, first several ones, it went up so quickly. Like, she did the rest of the stuff so fast. So I'm really proud of her. But look at her. She is on the move now. And she's actually feeling sad about something. I don't know. Just what? Uh, oh, for being awake too long? Oh, she's getting into the trash can. <laughs> But Harmony is going to go ahead and put her to sleep in the crib, so she should be okay. So I think we have work in an hour for both of them, and I'll probably join Harmony again with her work day. As well as Sim Dependence Day, I've also added a few extra holidays to the calendar, and I've moved some stuff around. So of course we have Sim Dependence Day here. We also have Spooky Fest, which is my equivalent of Halloween. Uh, Harvest Fest is all the way at the end of Autumn. And then we have Winterfest still and New Year's Eve, which I've just left where they are. But then for spring, I've moved Love Day all the way to the beginning because Valentine's Day is in February. So I figured it makes sense to put it earlier in the season. And then we also have Bunny Day, which is my equivalent of Easter. So there we go. I'm also going to get rid of this neighborhood brawl holiday because I really hate that holiday. But yeah, those are just some holidays that I actually have added to my current household that I don't know why I didn't add to this save. So I ca call it laziness. I, I just, it's a lot of work adding a bunch of holidays. Anyway. <laughs> but these two are doing good, I think, uh, for the most part. I don't know where their sentiments are. Oh. I swear she put Daisy in the crib. I don't know where their sentiments currently are in terms of stuff. Looks like uh, Harmony is no longer hurting from Penny being flirty with other people. Looks like Daisy has fallen asleep on the playmat or is attempting to. All right, let's go ahead and join Harmony. It's going to be a great work day. Everything is going to go swell. I don't know if we're going to get a promotion or not. <laughs> Uh, Penny actually did get a promotion at work, though. Uh, we got one of those little pop-ups with, like, a bunch of things, and it's like, one of these decisions will earn your sim fame and give them a promotion. 
So it's like there's no downside to doing that choice. And so I was like, yeah, we'll do that. So she got a promotion. Uh, we are still a long ways away from <laughs> being able to like get a huge promotion. Like she still does not have number of followers that she needs which has now actually gone up to 25 million oh gosh that's gonna be even harder to do now great <laughs> so yeah i don't think today we'll get a promotion for harmony but we do have our promotion task all completed so what do we need to do okay Ooh, we can invent the cloning machine now oh we should do that we should probably get a crystal from a co-worker though just to make sure that we have one because i don't know what the cloning machine will need so let's find crystal in our catalog here <laughs> so i'm using this pie menu search thing uh, i think it's a twisted mexi mod and it is so useful because the whole pie menu is so confusing now like it's hard to find very simple things, and so being able to just, like, search for an interaction, so good. Alright, sure, I have some extra crystals lying around. Here you go. We got one peach. Alright, we have to gossip about coworkers with Moira. Uh, we have to order a coworker to analyze crystals. Alright, well, we'll do this again. So, order to analyze crystals. <laughs> While you're here um daisuke poor daisuke i feel like we're always doing something to him i don't know <laughs> he's just so willing all right um invent device cloning machine who or what should we clone when the time comes <laughs> oh gosh we don't have any like enemies to clone so at least i don't think we do Nope, no enemies. All right, so now we need to find Moira. Uh, once she gets done with whatever she's doing. Um, Moira, there we go. All right, I think gossip about coworkers, yeah, is under the friendly category. So once we get done with this cloning machine, which I very much believe that this is a glitch because it's not supposed to be outside of this thing. So I don't know what's going on with that. But whatever. I'm gonna fast forward through this. And boom! Cloning machine. Harmony invented a cloning machine. What can she clone? Drag the cloning machine off the invention constructor. And then drag things onto it and select clone object. Why do I feel like there's potential that that can catch fire though too? <laughs> Who knows? I'm a little bit scared about that. Um, mix a tainted serum. I don't believe that we have that option though i think we had something like that the last time oh we need to clone a plant okay um then i'll put the cloning machine here and i don't necessarily have a plant to clone but i can sacrifice a carrot oh okay so this is the cloning plot so i need to put that over there clone object and we'll see if that counts oh apparently it is really hot here and we are burning up it's a heat wave just like in real life hey that did work all right we also need to clone a serum but i don't think we have any on us so can we make one um we can do a synthetic food serum but we still don't have the recipe to make a tainted one so i can't do anything with that i'm a little bit worried about the heat wave i might actually have her change out of her Ooh, actually you know what I can do? I'm gonna put a thermostat here, I think. So hopefully it'll manage the whole area. I definitely think adding one of these is gonna help. Let's see if she can finish the serum before she turns it on. There we go. And look, she's feeling so much better. So now we have a serum. We can actually clone it. So we'll put that there. We'll grab the serum and clone object. And like that, we have an extra synthetic food serum. Let's mind control Sapria. Why not? Change outfit. Um, let's see her party wear. <laughs> Why not? Do you think Sapria wears her uh, veterinarian outfit for party too? She seems to wear it for everything else. Oh no, she actually wears something else. 
Oh, I love that dress. It's one of my favorite outfits in the entire game. So we need to do that two more times. So, hey, Daisuke. Mind if we just get you to change into your sleepwear? In the way no one tries to stop us. <laughs> ah, how very plain. I was hoping that would be a little bit more interesting. All right, one more person. We'll get them to change into their athletic wear. Hector Lawrence. Oh, Daisuke is freaking out right now. Ooh, upgrade the Simray with Mind Control Clean. Yes, please. Upgrade Mind Control Clean. I love when we get to upgrade our weapons. <laughs> it's so fun. Harmony has upgraded the Simray so it can mind control Sims to clean. No more boring housework. Heck yeah. All right. Um... Supriya is right here, so let's just go ahead and mess with her a little bit more, I think, if we can. I don't think we can now, actually. Oh, no, it's because I haven't put the sim right back. <laughs> I always forget to do that, I feel like, but it's fine. Clean! I don't know what around here needs to be cleaned, but find something. I feel like if anyone should be our enemy, it should either be Supriya or Daisuke. I feel like those two are the ones we pick on the most. Especially Daisuke. But. <laughs> Alright, we need to analyze a crystal. So let's try to analyze Peach. We'll see if we can kick more off the thing here. And we've reached logic level four. Nice. Look at us getting through the day. We've only got a couple hours left before the day ends, so. And then tomorrow is birthday time. Uh, take a DNA sample from a sim. Daisuke. <laughs> Always willing. Oh, and there he is. Interesting. Ask for DNA sample. Hey, Daisuke. I know we, like, mind-controlled you into putting on your sleepwear, but can we take a DNA sample from you for, like, the third time? <laughs> third or fourth time? Nope, he actually said no. Yeah. I had a feeling that wasn't going to work out. Alright, let's try with Becca. She's our friend, so... What's the chance that she'll actually let us do that? Nope. <laughs> End of shift. We made 843 simoleons, and I think that shift ended just in time, because she also rejected uh, our request to take a DNA sample. And yeah, we did not get a promotion today, but we are really close to getting one now, so that is great. How's everyone else doing? Penny is fine. Daisy is not fine. Hello. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, we've got some problems here. Alright, so, first of all, will you feed a little baby? You get home several hours before Harmony does, and you don't take care of your child. Flirts with other people, does not take care of the baby. Uh, I'm starting to think that Penny would not be a good mom or a good partner, and maybe we should do something. <laughs> Every day I question Penny a little bit more. All right, can I get you to maybe take like a brisk shower or something? Oh, I actually have a question for y'all. I was playing my current household yesterday, and my Sims were graduating from high school. And I had a bug after they graduated where their outfits had been, like, overwritten by the graduation outfit. Like, everything. I had to go into Create a Sim, and that was the only way to fix that problem. Because I could try having them change their outfit, and I would look at all of their stuff, and everything was just the graduation cap. It was kind of weird. So, if anyone else is having that problem, let me know. Her attention is going up, which is good. We should prepare a cake for Daisy's birthday tomorrow. So, we're gonna go under the cooking category instead of baking, because all the cakes are under the cooking category. What kind of cake should we make for Daisy? Ooh, maybe a strawberry cake. Daisy is doing much better, but I think you should try to play with your toys to get your fun up. <laughs> and then... Penny is going to go use the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Now we get to keep an eye on Harmony in this cake to make sure that no one eats it. Oh. So, at least not before we put birthday candles on it. Now, the question is, should we actually have, like, a birthday party for Daisy? Oh, she got the clap milestone. Nice. Now, we don't have any, like, infant friends or anything, but we do have all of our dead family members. 
So we can easily throw a birthday party, I think. We can afford it for sure, too. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. It might be a bad idea, but I might do it anyway. All right, where are you taking that cake? All right, let's add birthday candles. And we'll plop it in the fridge for tomorrow. Now, I think tomorrow... Can we plan social events from here? We can. All right. Um, maybe shower, toddler play date, birthday party. We won't do that as a gold event. All right, birthday sim is going to be Daisy. And let's see how many people we can actually invite. Family. Oh. Okay, we can't invite any of our family members, apparently, because they're all dead. But come on. I guess we won't do this then, because we can't really invite anyone. It's fine. I just thought it would be a nice way to, you know, like, maybe get to know the next generation, but it's fine. None of our family members played a big role anyway. They were all generated, so. Alright, Daisy, how are you? Your energy is really low. So let's go ahead and put Daisy to bed. I'm gonna get her to stop playing with her toys. She, she really has to go to the bathroom, but she has not used her diaper yet, so she's probably gonna do that in the middle of the night. Actually, you know what? Let's get her to just use her diaper right now. If we can. Use diaper. <laughs> Possibly. That's probably not gonna work. Yeah, she's already going to bed. Whatever, it's fine. And then Harmony should probably get some leftovers or something. So it is 10 p.m., but she is getting hungry, and I don't want her waking up in the middle of the night to get food. We're just enjoying some muscle soup, and I'm going to fast forward, so that way she'll eat that fairly quickly, and we can send her to bed. Oh, yeah, Daisy used her diaper. <laughs> Surprisingly, though, her hygiene isn't that bad. I think Daisy's an early riser. Right? Yeah. So she'll probably wake up somewhat soonish. Also, we have a bottle on the floor there. I'm surprised that Harmony actually woke up first to contemplate her life, of course, because her life is so awful. All right. Well, you know what? Let's maybe wake Daisy up. I'll probably just have her give Daisy a bath because I'm not making her change any more diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I've done it a few times because I keep forgetting that she's squeamish. Hello, little Daisy. Ready for a birthday bath? Not just any birthday bath, a birthday bubble bath. Hopefully that'll actually get rid of the stink. I know, stinky, stinky diaper. Would this make her squeamish too, though? I don't know. Celebrate Daisy's birthday by throwing a rocking birthday party. Well, we plan to, but then we realize that we have literally no one to invite. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Penny can do something, but I wouldn't think so. I actually take a look at this birthday party. Does she have anyone to invite? No. No one at all. <laughs> Sorry, Daisy. It is official no birthday party for you. And it's Sim Dependence Day. <laughs> but we actually can't really do, like, any of these activities. We can invite some guests over, but... Is there anything, like, anyone we really want to invite over? A uh, fireworks feature doesn't actually work in this game. We could do a little barbecue, though, or something. Ooh! That actually might be a good idea. Rather than a, like, birthday party, we do some kind of, like, barbecue or something. And we just, like, have the party while the barbecue is going on. That could be cool. Now, we can't do a weenie roast. What about a dinner party? Dinner party might be too formal. Let's try a house party. <laughs> so, we'll, we'll just do that. Um, we can have Harmony be the host. Well, ha Harmony and Penny. Why not? And then we can invite Akira and Cletus for sure. Definitely not Clement. But we'll invite Miko and how about Nina Caliente? The old version, though, of course. And that'll be all. Just a few people. All right. And then carding in Legacy Residence. And we'll do this at... Let's go noon. 
So that gives us a few hours. We actually can do the water fun thing too because we do have a pool. So we could do a few things on the list, just not everything. So. And also the holiday traditions are based off of things that I typically did for uh, the 4th of July. My family would go over to uh, the parents of my aunt who was married in and they had like this big party out kind of in like the country area of our city and they'd let us swim in the pool we'd light fireworks there'd be a bunch of food and stuff it was a lot of fun so <laughs> so yeah all the traditions are based off of stuff i actually did to celebrate independence day not anymore but yeah all right um we get you to feed the little baby. Bottle feed. Bottle feed. Before Daisy gets taken away on her birthday. Like, we don't have time to waste, Penny. I might get Harmony to change out of her outfit, though, into... Probably just her everyday. I don't think that we really need to change it to our party wear. And once Penny gets done feeding Daisy, I'll have her do the same. Also, I had Daisy try applesauce as her first baby food, and she didn't like it. And I feel, as an applesauce enthusiast, uh, that that is illegal, and I am not here for it. All right, so we only have two hours until party starts. So maybe I should get Harmony to make some stuff. So right, let's grill some. We'll do some grilled chicken, for sure. So we're just going to make a bunch of stuff. Make sure it's all ready for the party. That can go in the fridge there. We'll also grill some hot dogs. Hot dogs and hamburgers for sure. We only have a few people coming, so we probably don't need this much food. But you know what? It's fine. Oh, hey. We did get into our party where... Okay. You know what? I'm fine with that because Harmony's outfit looks amazing. And you know what? So does Penny's. But the house party has begun. Why don't we introduce Daisy and Nina? Say, hey, thanks for coming to our Sim Dependence house party and also our daughter's birthday. I'm sure Daisy won't mind being handed to, like, a bunch of strangers. But... <laughs> okay, so that's not going to work out. But we should have some food ready now. All right, so Nina is here. I don't see any of the others. It's concerning. Is Nina going to be the only one to show up to this party? Oh, there's Miko. Okay. <laughs> Miko is here. Uh, neither of the guys are here, though, from what I can see. Let's just call to meal. Get your burgers here, and then we'll also call to meal for the hot dogs. I think that's what that is, right? Yeah. And then grilled chickens over here. Everyone come get a hot dog and hamburger. Maybe I should have only called them to meal once. <laughs> this is fine. Look at our girls. Isn't this a good group? Too bad Akira and Cletus didn't show up. Kind of rude of them to not actually come to our daughter's birthday party, but whatever. At least it just can be a girl's day or something. That's fun. Also, I'm going to count this as inviting guests over because we are literally having a party, so. Uh-oh. Are you being flirty with people again? Because I swear. I saw the be jealous thing. I'm watching you, Penny. And then... We can probably pull the cake out and get Daisy. Help blow out candles. Uh, let's get Harmony to do it, actually. She is our primary cardigan, so. <laughs> Daisy, it's wake up time. Time for you to become a toddler. She stinks a little bit, which is great. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, she earned a bonus treat. She get. Top-notch infant. Daisy is top-notch. This infant has been loved and well cared for, which will help them maintain a positive outlook on life. Nice. All right, so randomized trait. She's silly. Oh, look at Daisy. We're going to go into create a sim and give her a little bit of a toddler makeover. Oh, quirk revealed wonder. Daisy seems to always be running away. Toddlers who are wanderers are quick to run away after they are put down. Uh, better keep an eye on them. Right. <laughs> so our toddler is going to run away from us. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and go into create a sim. All right, so let's start out with her every day. Aw, oh, she is so cute. <laughs> uh, we are definitely going to give her some eyelashes, though. 
because eyelashes make everything better. Uh, I'm kind of digging this hairstyle, the little like wavy pigtails. I think that's cute. Let's go with that. All right, and then for her outfit, I do have some custom content. Toddler clothing, but not too much. Definitely think we should keep the pink theme going. I'm thinking maybe these. And then for shoes, we'll just do some little converse and they're already pink. So super cute. All right, holy accessories. This is not a very formal outfit, I will say. <laughs> but I do love this dress a lot. So if I can find a pinky swatch. It's like there is this one, but it's not pink enough. We don't have to do like all pink for her, I guess. But I do like my Sims to have color schemes typically. Oh, there's this. That's pink for sure. Why is that giving me Elwood vibes? <laughs> Uh, I'm not a big fan of the onesie stuff, personally. I will give her this little koala t-shirt, though. <laughs> and we'll just pair it with some little pants here. I can give her one of these little rompers. What about this? What about the koala overall? <laughs> Anytime I can use anything koala related, you know I will. But I'll go ahead and give her some little pink shoes. And some socks, of course. All right, I'll do a styled look for her swimwear. I'll just do that. That's really cute. Oh, the little sunflower dress for hot weather could be cute as someone who comes from Kansas and whose favorite flower is, in fact, the sunflower. <laughs> well, we could also give her one of these. Oh, that one's fun. Maybe we should go for one of these patterned ones. We'll go that one. It's pink. <laughs> I actually don't mind her shoes. I am wondering if there's a brighter color. There is. Only slightly, though. Well, it's hot weather. Maybe we should give her some sandals, actually. Cold weather. I'll do a stud look for her. We'll just go that. I think that's really cute. And there is little Miss Daisy Cardigan as a toddler. Oh, I'm so excited. She looks so cute. Let's go ahead. I'm going to save real quick. And then I'm going to call everyone to meal so we can all get some cake. Just gonna be delicious. All right, where is Daisy at? Daisy, what are you doing all the way outside? Uh, we should also maybe change her outfit so she's not in her sleepwear anymore. So there we go. Yeah, she's definitely a runaway because she went all the way out to the treehouse, basically. That's great. Look at her waddling, though. She's trying. Oh, wow. People went through that food fast. What are you doing? Why are... No. You're not even hungry. Why are you trying to make more food? Clean that up. You just wasted a bunch of some old things. <laughs> At least she'll take the plates too. So that's good. And then I think Daisy grabbed a piece of cake. So let's put the rest of that in the fridge. We should go swimming. Swim with Harmony. Ooh, we should definitely get a toddler pool at some point. Maybe we could do that now. And that could be like her birthday present or something. We'll just get one of these and put it somewhere. I don't know where. Maybe over here. Harmony, you gonna go swimming? No, you were gonna go check the toddler. That's fine. Um, actually, if she's not gonna go swimming, maybe we can put Daisy in the kiddie pool. We can always go swimming later. It's fine. Who the heck started making more food? <laughs> Then we got little Daisy. Oh, Liza's calling. Quick question. Meredith, Roswell, and I were planning to spend some casual friend time together. Should I do it? Do whatever you want, Eliza. So cute. Wow. <laughs> All right, looks like our house party is almost over, too. So Nina and Miko should be heading out soon. I'm really sad that Akira and Cletus didn't show up. Kind of sucks. Well, it was a party at least. You'll find a consolation prize of a gently used book in your Sims household inventory. Great. Her energy is actually really low, so maybe we should have Harmony put Daisy to bed. Actually, what we need to do first is upgrade the bed uh, so we can have it be a toddler bed and then Daisy can go to bed. <laughs> because I don't think Daisy can actually use the crib, can she? Oh no. Quirk revealed destructive. Daisy is kind of a destructive toddler. Destructive toddlers take pleasure in the chaos they leave behind and are more likely to destroy things. Great. <laughs> First, as an infant, she's a free air tinkler, and now she is destructive. Daisy is chaos in human form. Or sim form, I guess. It's fine. How's it going over here? I feel like it's going to take a little bit to uh, upgrade that. Should we get rid of the playmat? Now that Daisy isn't able to use it anymore. 
Or should we hold on to it for if Daisy, not Daisy, uh, Harmony and Penny have another kid? Could Daisy have a younger sibling? It's, the idea of that's kind of scary, knowing that she is a bit destructive now. But 648 simoleons. Heck yeah. Yay for days off. <laughs> Penny's hygiene is a little bit low, but she's distracting Daisy while Harmony tries to upgrade the bed. There we go. Penny, come put Daisy to bed. Since you're out there. <laughs> Harmony is doing great, honestly. Um, other than I'm going to get her to clean up the BLT mess that someone started. May or may not have been her. Don't know. I think we didn't have enough water fun. Maybe we should get Harmony to uh, actually do some swimming of her own. That way she can get the uh, water fun thing done. Since the only water fun she really had was from the kiddie pool with Daisy. I am going to send her to bed at least. And you know what? I'll send Penny to bed too. It's been a long day. Harmony worked hard yesterday. And they had a party today. And Daisy is now a toddler, which is great. But I do think that is where I'm going to leave it for today. So, ooh, Sim Dependence Day successful. Oh, except for Daisy, because it. Okay. Well. Daisy couldn't do anything. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to call it here for today. I hope you guys are enjoying the series and are looking forward to seeing what Daisy as a toddler is going to be like. I am both really excited but also really scared now knowing two of her quirks. Because you can have three toddler quirks in total and two of them are destructive and runs away, basically. So, yikes. <laughs> But thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and make sure that you have notifications on so you don't miss anything. Be sure to follow my socials. Links are below. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.